So, since COVID lockdown, uh, I don't think really any of us have been the same. I sometimes find myself in my own thoughts a lot of the time, and I think that's a good thing. These thoughts can be interpreted in one of two ways. So you can either acknowledge them and decide to take action on them, or you can ignore them and carry on getting lost in your thoughts, which I don't personally recommend. That means I have a lot more free time on my hands. I've been spending a large portion of this free time either thinking about my ambitions and what I want from life, and that's good, but that's only if I take action to, you know, fulfill those ambitions, because if I don't, it's just a waste of time. So today that all changes. I'm off to London on my ones to explore the area because I don't really do a lot of exploring. I think it's, you know, as a human, we're wired to be curious and explore and, you know, do stuff. Sitting inside doing nothing is so unhealthy and it's got to the point now where I'd rather not do that anymore. It's not for me and I want to change my life for the better. So that brings me to today's video, where I'm actually going to be exploring London, uh, going to see all the sites I've not seen before, and kind of just go around, do my own thing, j dub style, and uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> so what's up then gang? Man's in London right now. Honestly, uh, just got off the bus. Been walking for a bit. I'm desperate for a piss, right? I'm trying to find a Mackie D's. Uh, well, well, I'll just show you. There is not a Mackie D's to be seen anywhere around here. So basically I might end up pissing myself. But we'll update you if I end up in Primark buying some new shorts. Well, well, well. Back again. Obviously uh, I haven't found no toilet yet, so I'm still busted. But I did make it to Buckingham Palace. My mate the Queen lives up there. So yeah, I'll give her a bell later, see if she wants to meet up, but I think she's quite busy at the moment, all this Brexit shit going on, so. Well, well, well. Oh, fuck me, there's a big old spot there. Well, anyway, um, this whole place here, um, I don't know what it's called, but basically, there's toilets in there, so no need for me to go to Primark now. Oh, hang on a sec. I must have walked past them already. I looks like I pissed myself because of the, because of the tap, so. Yeah, a bit of an L. Dubs again. Um, I'm in this like location, right? And this, if you're a royal family sort of enthusiast, I'd say, is where they did that parade not long ago for the, the Jubilee. I mean, I only watched it because I was around my grandparents, you see. And uh, we saw the planes fly over their house, believe it or not. So, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. It's very warm. I have to take my jumper off. Obviously, got the drip on. And uh, yeah, made it to Travel Square, baby. National Gallery behind me. Nelson's collar that way. My hair's a mess. I'm gonna get a hat. <laughs> so I've just decided to stop in Leicester Square to um, and because uh, I, I have no idea where I'm going. I was gonna try and go to the museum, history museum and it's about two miles away, so it's a long walk. But I also want to go to other places. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Might go find a spoon as well, back in picture. See what happens. It's been a while since the last time. Walked the entirety down Oxford Street. We're at some sort of arch, Mabel Arch, I think it's called. Um, oh yeah, Mabel Arch Station's over there. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling. About to go to Hyde Park, walk through there. Natural History Museum, let's go. Loving life right now, baby. It's nice to get out in the sun. Not often that it's sunny in England. Right, so bad news. Um, we never got to Spoons. I went in the first one, that closest one on the map, and it looked full of old people, so I never went in. So I, I never actually got food, I never got a picture, so what was the next best thing? Mackie D's. And obviously, in Happy Meals at the moment, you've got Pokemon cards, so I was like, yeah, no, this is perfect, this is like, meant to be. So I opened my Happy Meal, get my chips, get my burger out, get my Pokemon cards out, except... So this is an old one. 
Um, luckily, my dog likes Paddington toys. So we're going to unbox it right now, as you can see. Oh, nice, it's Paddington in a chef's hat. No, I've never seen anything better than that. But honestly, I'm really quite sad and I'm just kind of a bit traumatized by the whole experience. Not to mention, right, I had to wait over half an hour for that Mackey's order. I don't know what was going on. Orders 40 were going through and I was order seven. Whatever Mackey's I went to in London. It was next to Chinatown. It was shit. Like, shit is Mackey's ever had. Wrap, I'll insert a picture now. My wrap was fucked. As soon as I pulled, pulled out the wrapper, I've never seen anything worse. But it didn't have mail in. Moment. Another thing, I wanted to go to the Natural History Museum. Honestly, turns out there's no more spaces, so I can't go there either. So, 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 we did the shopping. I've only got glasses, went to buy a hat. Primark hats are shite. That's where these glasses from. £1.50. I just bought if you ask me. And then I went to Selfridges. And all the hats cost bread. All the hats cost bread in there, so. That was a write up as well. But we're in there so near the lake now. It looks so refreshing, but yeah, I haven't had a drink for ages. First is fuck. Managed to find some hydration. Waitrose, of course, because they don't have any Tesco around this. Oh, it's too posh. I mean, look, at it. look at the building. It's just too posh around this, so we never find Tesco's or Sainsbury's or Lidl or anything like that. Right, another pit stop. Let's go right now. Put it in the comments. We've got three seconds. Three, two, one. You didn't get Westminster Cathedral. Then you've got to like the video right now. Just saying. Um, yeah, we're just chilling. My legs are fucked. Just want to go walk across the Tower Bridge, go down Westminster a bit. Call it a day, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Westminster Abbey, baby. Look at that fucker, it's huge. Not quite as uh, spectacular as the cathedral, though. Uh, I actually managed to get into there, and they were about to start a service, and I'm not religious, so I thought I'll. Uh, I won't be disrespectful, but I might try and get in this one. See what I thought. I think it looks bigger actually. Now that I look at it properly, it looks bigger. But yeah. Imagine if this audio is all fucked. I forgot to bring my mic, so it could very well be a uh, bit of an L. Oh, it's shut. Shut at 3 30. Yeah, so I couldn't get to uh, Westminster Abbey, but we're now at Big Ben. Obviously, um, He's not exactly small, is he? So, uh, oh yeah, how's, how's the comments down there? I want to say, let me just show you. So that's it then. That's everything that, you know, I wanted to complete. London today, ticked off the list, bar, museum, but I couldn't get a ticket to go in there. Um, so we're well, basically just, that's it, we're chilling now. My hair's a mess, I really should have bought a hat, but look at that little strand there, it's pissed me off. Yeah, I'm going to try and figure out my way back to the, uh, back to the thing. I've got that thing there. Situation update, 752, so in Jubilee Garden, uh, final test is Express. Get, um, get some fruit or something, so, uh, a little bit angry. And, uh, fuck off to the bus stop. I'm gonna miss the next one, so this is in about 10 minutes. About 30 minutes I'll walk away. Just got some strand. So, cross on, got the watermelons. Living life, baby. And that kind of sums up the video, really. I went to London with the intention of making a vlog, but didn't really get enough clips of me actually doing stuff. So I decided to make this video instead to hopefully inspire at least one person who spends a lot of time inside, you know, to go outside and, you know, see the world. The entire trip, as knackering as it was, turned out to be a great experience and actually helped me quite a lot in terms of anxiety when I film in public. Hence, a large majority of the videos that I do film aren't in busy places. I forced myself out of my comfort zone and I encourage you to do the same because essentially that's how we all grow.
Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy J-Dubs. And I'll certainly see you next time. Have a good one. Go outside. Do some shit. <laughs>